Lego decided to send me three insider rewards. And I'm gonna be truthful with you, I have like never ordered an insider reward. I always just redeem my Lego insiders points on like cash value, getting money off Lego sets. I just never really explored that section of the website. So today I'm actually going to show you the rewards that I got and we're also gonna explore the website to try and determine if it's worth ordering some of these products, which are pretty much free, I guess. So the first one is a Lego poster and it is the Lego Building Nightmares presents Night of the Buried Brick. And then down here it says, it's in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure this like glows in the dark. You got some Lego pieces and it looks like the builder has found their brick. These are actually pretty neat because they have like this embossed stamp on them and they're limited to 5,400 pieces. Mine came in a box that was too small so it didn't sit flat so now it's curved. <laughs> so yeah, they should probably ship these flat. Just my suggestion. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And then there's also this one. Comes in the Christmas themed box with Santa Claus, reindeer, and some other CMFs. And then on the top it says Lego Insiders. And I think inside here is an ornament. Yeah, it's just your basic Christmas ornament. It's got some Lego elements on it, like the limb and the coffee mug and a cookie. And that image is the same on either side. The nice bow on the top and that says Lego Insiders on it. And it seems like I can open it up. Yeah, I guess you can just hide some sort of treasure in there and then hang it on your Christmas tree because it's actually empty. So that's two of the three promos that LEGO sent me. And check it out, I'm saving the best for last. Off with the Star Wars hat and on with the LEGO space hat. How cool is that? I never knew that you could order hats from the reward section on the LEGO website. That is so cool. It's got like the vintage space logo. It's got a little bit of wear on it. This thing is beauty. And this thing fits me, which is good. I actually got a pretty big head. Look at that. Space logo, nicely stitched. Got some wear on the brim, and then it has a Velcro back. And I believe inside the hat we have, yeah, the official Lego logo. So definitely a pretty good quality hat. So when I was getting ready to film this, I realized that I might have more VIP rewards in this LEGO room. Because when I was in Bill in Denmark, they gave everyone like this little package that came in this backpack. And I believe this is an insider rewards as well. And same with this little bag right here, which I want to use for my toiletries on a plane, I feel, although I don't pack very much. Maybe Jose will use it. And then there's like this scarf, then this little side bag right here. This poster which I need to frame, and I want to frame that one as well. And then also a Frisbee, and then a different hat. It's like a bucket hat. So those are all insider rewards too, I believe. So of course, when you go to the LEGO website, you want to log in, and then you're going to click up here, and you're going to open up the rewards tab. So typically when I go here, I'm just like, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to buy cash value because I want to get discounts on my LEGO, whether it be online or in store. But then when you continue to roll down, there are featured rewards here. You got to do this one. If you're not in on that, you got to do it. Black Friday preview, win a signed Lego Marvel Avengers Tower or one of 30 e-gift cards. So I've already redeemed my points there and I've already signed up for that. So that's good. Also, you can win your uh, holiday wish list and you can also enter in for a chance to win the minifig tribute set for 50 points. So it's 50 cents. Just move the decimal place. Uh, down below that, there is the uh, alternate building instructions as well. These are all free, so they're going to show you some different things that you can build with these art sets. This one's pretty cool of Denmark. That uses the world map and also this Europe. And then there's some Mickey and Minnie ones and also some Harry Potter ones. We've seen these for a long time. They've been around for forever, ever since those have come out, essentially. I actually haven't done any of those art sets. But then there's the collectibles tab. And I think this is like the best tab. So once again, they're displaying that pirate there. And there's also this uh, customizable Lego cap. So it looks like it comes with a couple different, probably like Velcro or patches. I'm not too sure. There's also the bag that we just checked out there. So you can get that for 4,800 points, which is actually pretty expensive. Is that $48? Wow. 
or $33. So what do you value getting this backpack, which is pretty nice for $33 or getting $33 off your next Lego purchase? I guess that is up to you to decide. Uh, then there's also these little mini Lego sets. I like this one, the Space Adventure. I think I have that. I'm not too sure, but there's this one here, which is the Fantasy Adventure Ride. That's available for $24. Definitely not a bad deal. Then you can also get some sticker packs and some trading cards. There's that Frisbee. There's that. Oh, it's a cooler. Is that what I had down there? The cooler bag? Okay. It's a Lego cooler. Nice. Then we also have the uh, bucket hat right there. Oh, I guess it's reversible, which is pretty neat. This little set here as well, Wonders of the World. You can get that for $27 worth of points. And that's how it converts here in Canada, at least. Uh, they just moved the decimal place twice. The birthday diorama, $21. It's pretty neat. Couple mini figures. This keychain's pretty cool too for $9.50. There's the soccer scarf. I really don't need that. I don't wear scarves. Uh, this is a pretty nice keychain. There's another like vintage looking one right there as well. And the keychains are pretty good value, $9.50. This sign has been here for a while. I think I remember seeing that a long time ago. 12 bucks. That's not too bad. You can also get some stickers, maybe a tin lunchbox. A classic Lego logo sign. That one's pretty nice. I wouldn't mind getting that for $12. Not too bad. There's also a uh, Stranger Things sketchbook right here and also another Ninjago tin sign. Then we've got the hats. There's actually three different hats. So there's the space one and also the Octan one. Not too bad. 24 bucks for those hats. Like $24 worth of points, which are technically free. Granted, you get to spend a bunch of money to get those points to get these for free. There's also some uh, holiday gift wrap there and another tin sign, which is for Lego City. Some really cool rides that could be integrated into amusement park and then also the coins. The coins were offered quite some time ago and those are all sold out. There's a for kids tab. I'm gonna skip that for now. We'll have a look at that in a bit, but I wanted to feature the art prints. There's the one that we just showed, right? The Night of the Buried Brick. I'm pretty sure they glow in the dark. When I click on it to get more information, it doesn't show the glow in the dark image, but I'm pretty sure they do. Yes, indeed, they actually do glow in the dark. And I found some blown up images. So we saw this one here. And then there is the Terrible Low. Thought you'd pack them all away. And it looks like this guy's about to step on a two by two brick. The Vanishing Brick. Dropped pieces don't just disappear, do they? The Crooked House. Nothing will haunt you like a lopsided sticker. Revenge of the Cheese Slope. No one knows how it got there. No one knows how it's getting out. And it's like stuck in the underside of a brick. That's hilarious. And then the last of the six is stuck. Will your fingernails survive the night? So without question, that is an epic selection of posters. Love the fact that they glow in the dark and they're on some pretty high quality paper and they're limited runs too, which is pretty neat. I just don't know if I want to give like that much wall space to these posters. They are 30 by 40 centimeters, so they're fairly large. There's the other one that I have downstairs there. There's also the Eiffel Tower one, a Black Panther one, Rapunzel art print, Frozen, uh, superheroes sketch there. There's the Fiat 500 ones, some of which are already sold out. Those are pretty nice though. I also like the uh, originals. These are the uh, the patent, right? So it looks like they have the brick patent in what? A couple different languages and orientations there. And then there's the wooden duck sketch right here. And also this one, which looks pretty neat. And then the minifig patent. And what else? Oh, this one's cool. It goes over all the different logos of the uh, Lego group throughout the years. And those are only $6.50. So it could be a cool way to redeem some points and fill some wall space in your Lego room. Yeah, all sorts of them there. And then of course you can get some tickets and stuff like that to uh, Legoland parks. There you go. If you have a Legoland near you, that might be the way to do it. I believe in the kids area, there was some poly bags and stuff too. There's all these uh, draw your own ninjas and that. There's some Duplo. There's that backpack again. Uh, a crown and a luggage tag, it looks like. That's a poly bag, but it looks like it's sold out. This weird road. There's another poly bag there, another poly bag. There's some Mario poly bags that are still available. And then uh, some of these other smaller kids items here as well. So it's pretty cool that they uh, give you the option to redeem your points on other things than just cash discounts. I'm undecided as to whether or not I want to give these posters a huge amount of wall space in my Lego room. Hey, but you know what? It might look pretty cool to have all six of those posters like on this wall. 
or on this wall or anywhere in the Lego room. Now, with that said, those were uh, 1, 000, sorry, 17,500 points per poster, and I need five more. So it's close to $90 worth of cash back value. Like, that's a lot. You've got to spend a lot of money to get $90 worth of VIP points, right? Plus, in my opinion, you wouldn't want to just hang those on the wall, like masking tape them or double-sided tape them or command strip them or whatever it is. I think you would want to put a frame on them. And I think I looked up frames for that size, 30 by 40 centimeters, and those frames cost $15 each. So there you have another $90. So now these posters technically are costing you close to $200 to have six posters on your wall. So is it worth it in the end? What do you think? I don't think I want to order anything else. Maybe some of those tin signs and stuff, I guess, because those tin signs might look good here. But when you go to the Lego store, and you redeem those points, it also feels good because you're pretty much getting free Pab Cups or you're getting free Lego sets, right? So it's like, do you want some art for your wall or like a cool keychain or whatever else we saw there? Or do you want to get free Lego? It's hard to pass up on the free Lego. I am undecided. I do have some art right here, but wall space is sort of limited down here. So it's like, I don't know what to do. I sort of want to get those six posters though. Those are pretty cool. Like the fact that they're limited to, what was it? Uh, 5,400 pieces is pretty neat. And to have all of them hung together, framed up, would be pretty neat. I'm going to give that some thought. Let me know what you think of it by commenting below. And are you going to pick them up? Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell.